guys right now in the wild card. Boston's one behind you. Otto's a few behind you. Is there any sense of urgency or danger that you guys may miss the playoffs at all? Uh, there's urgency. I don't think. I don't think you let that slip in your mind. You try to go out there and um, get two points the next game. But uh, I think we're well aware of this scenario. So um, you now we've got to take care of ourselves and make sure we get points. How dangerous is Columbus, a team that gave you some fits the last time out? Uh, they're good. They're playing really good hockey. Uh, you know, for a team that's out of the playoffs, um, they're playing with a lot of confidence, and uh, you're seeing every game. You know, they're finding ways. So. Uh, they're healthy, and uh, we need to make sure that we go into this weekend uh, ready to play our best. Brandon talked about clinching. Not he was like we're not thinking about the standings other than <clears throat> clinching. Is that the mindset of the entire team? Yeah, I mean just just game by game. Um, you know, getting uh, getting wins, playing the right way, and um, you can't control what other teams do. All you can do is take care of yourself, and we need to make sure that uh, you know we're much better than we were last game. So is there such a thing at this point as mental fatigue in, in the sense that you're, the finish line is near, playoffs are around the corner, but you're not quite there yet? Is that a challenge? No, I mean, this is the this is the best time you're to be playing. Um, you know, when, when points are important, the games are bigger. Um, you know, maybe in January, February, when it's, you know, probably the, the tougher months of the year, you're playing a lot, and uh, the end isn't quite near. But, you know, I think with, with these games and... You know, with being in a playoff race, I think that's exciting. I think, uh, you know, we've been in positions where, you know, we've been kind of counting the games down. You know, we're pretty much solidified in our spot, that kind of thing. And it's not the case right now. So you have to embrace that and, and be excited for it. And, uh, you know, we need to make sure we're playing the right way. That's the bottom line. But, uh, you yeah, this is the best time of year when you want to play. See, we, have, we had Rick talking on this morning. He said he was disappointed in the lack of fight that they're in. Fight that you guys, I guess, didn't have in that game against Philly. I guess that echoes what you would say after the game too. But how does that make you guys be able to coach and say stuff like that? He's absolutely right. I mean, uh, I don't think anybody was trying to hide from that or anything like that. I think uh, nobody felt good about the game when it was over. And uh, as a coaching staff, I'm sure they didn't either. And uh, you know, as a group, we can't can't allow that to happen. And especially this time of year when every point is important. Um, you can't give them away, and, and we pretty much did that in that Philly game. Talking to some of the guys like Tavares, Stamkos, and that, they said, yeah, it's harder to score, but it might be because there's more quality in second, third, fourth lines. Well, what do you attribute it to? Uh, it's hard to pinpoint one thing. I think there's a lot of different factors that go into it. I mean, um, you know, those are all pretty valid points, I think. Uh, but, if, you know, when you look at, at goalies, um, I'm sure the numbers for goalies are through the roof this year. And, um, you know, they're bigger, they're athletic. And, um, you know, that's that's tough, obviously. But um, probably less power plays. You know, that's, you know, a time when you're usually able to, to rack up a lot of points. When you're getting a lot of power plays and they're a man down, you get more time and space. So I think with less power plays, that's probably the case, too. But... It's hard to pinpoint one thing. Um, you know, it's just you have to fight for fight for your time and space out there to make plays. Would you like to see the league try to do something to increase the offense? And if so, what can they do? Soccer now? <laughs> I don't want to see the Nets change. I mean, that's that's pretty drastic. But I think uh, you know, when you think about it, I mean, the only thing that's maybe goalie gear. I mean, that's the only thing that uh, you know, as far as the players and, and the style and the way teams play systems now. Uh, you can't really change all that. I mean, the only thing you can really directly change is maybe the goalie gear, but I'm sure many of those guys wouldn't be a fan of that um, for a good reason. But uh, I think that's that's really the only thing you can do to really alter things um, to really make a difference, I think. So it looks like you're probably going to have six defensemen the first time in a bit. Uh, what, what do you expect to see from Chorney going coming up from Wilkesbury and then all of a sudden thrusting the playoff push on the guys like that? Uh, he's pretty poised. I mean, he's he's played a lot of NHL games, and... Uh, he's just really comfortable, settles things down out there, and uh, yeah, I would expect him to, to fit right in and you know adjust pretty easily. I think uh, that experience will definitely help him, and uh, just his personality. I think uh, you know he'll be able to be pretty poised and help us out there. So we won't see you after the after the Columbus game. Just briefly on, the, on going to Philly and facing the Flyers on Sunday. What do you expect from them? Probably much the same as you know the last game. Um, you know they get up to play us and. 
no matter what the standings are. So, um, like I said, this is a big weekend for us. So, we need to make sure we're getting points.